We have seen how useful elevations and sections can be. Now we will learn how to create them. Open the Elevation tool under the View tab. Notice that the arrow points to walls when you hover next to them. Place the Elevation tag. Now let's select the tag and change its type to an interior elevation. Next, let's choose the views we want to create. Uncheck a box and choose OK to delete a view. To add views, select the appropriate boxes. The new views now show up in the project browser and can be renamed to reflect what they show. We will rename this view Stairs, since it points in the direction of the stairs. If we select a view, we can change its far clip offset, or how much of the background we will see in that view. To easily open an elevation, we can double click its tag. We can also open an elevation view by selecting it in the project browser. Let's look at some of the views that we have just created. In the View tab, open the Section tool. Now, let's draw a line where we want our view to be located. Next, let's adjust the far clip offset. Find the new section view under Sections in the Project Browser and open it to see what we have just created. If we want to change the direction in the section view, let's return to the first floor plan view. Select the section line and click the small arrows to change the direction. Adjust the far clip offset, and then, once again, open the view in the project browser. We will notice that the section view now looks the other way. View properties can be modified for elevation and section views in much the same way as plan views. We can use either the properties palette or the view control bar to edit our view. As with plan views, we can change the scale, detail, and the visual style of our view. We can also select the crop region and modify the boundaries of the view to see more or less of the model. We can also hide the crop region or turn the crop view off or on. Similarly to plan views, we can select what we want to view and how to view it in section or elevation views. Let's select visibility graphics from the view tab or in the properties palette. To focus on the furniture, let's start by turning the furniture lines red. Next, let's remove the railings from the view.
Finally, let's half tone the stairs. Selecting OK will apply these changes. We are now left with a view that focuses on the furniture components of our model.